Hey there, automation enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of PLCs, or Programmable Logic Controllers. These little boxes are the unsung heroes of modern industry, quietly orchestrating everything from car assembly lines to amusement park rides. You might not see them, but trust me, they're everywhere, tirelessly working behind the scenes to make our lives easier and more efficient. Think of a PLC as the brain of an automated system. Just like our brains process information and send signals to our bodies, PLCs receive input from sensors and other devices, make decisions based on pre-programmed logic, and then control outputs like motors, valves, and lights. This ability to control complex processes with precision and reliability makes PLCs indispensable in today's automated world. From manufacturing and transportation to energy and infrastructure, PLCs are the invisible force driving countless industries forward. So, buckle up as we explore the inner workings of these automation marvels and discover how they're shaping the world around us. Let's get started. Now that we know what PLCs do, let's pop the hood and see what makes them tick. Don't worry, you won't need a screwdriver for this. A typical PLC consists of several key components, each with a specific role to play. First up, we have the CPU, or Central Processing Unit, the brains of the operation. This is where the PLC's program is stored and executed, crunching through instructions and making decisions based on the incoming data. Next, we have the input and output iBash O modules. These guys are the PLC's eyes and ears, allowing it to communicate with the outside world. Of course, no electronic device can function without a power supply, and the PLC is no exception. This component provides the juice needed to keep everything running smoothly. And to keep all these components organized and protected, we have the rack, a sturdy chassis that houses everything together. Finally, we have the memory, which stores the PLC's program and data, and the communication interface, which allows the PLC to talk to other devices and systems. Now that we've met the players, let's see how they work together in perfect harmony. The PLC's operation can be broken down into a continuous cycle read, execute and write. It all starts with the inputs. These could be signals from sensors, switches or even other PLCs. The PLC reads these inputs and stores their status in its memory. Next comes the execution phase. Here, the PLC's CPU springs into action fetching instructions from the program and processing them one by one. These instructions, written in a language the PLC understands, more on that later, dictate how the PLC should respond to the input conditions. Finally, based on the program's logic and the current input status, the PLC updates its outputs. These outputs, relayed through the output modules, control actuators like motors, solenoids and lamps, bringing the desired action to life in the real world. And then, the cycle repeats, ensuring a continuous flow of information and control. Before PLCs stormed onto the scene, relay logic reigned supreme in the world of industrial automation. These systems relied on electromechanical relays, physical switches controlled by electromagnets, to control processes. While they got the job done, relay logic systems were bulky, inflexible and a nightmare to reconfigure. Enter the PLC, a digital disruptor that revolutionized automation. Unlike their hardwired predecessors, PLCs are software-based, meaning their functionality can be easily modified by simply changing the program. This flexibility, coupled with their compact size, ease of installation and enhanced reliability, makes PLCs a far superior solution for most automation tasks. Moreover, PLCs offer advanced features like diagnostics, communications and data logging, capabilities that were simply unimaginable in the era of relay logic. It's safe to say that PLCs have rendered relays obsolete in most modern applications, ushering in a new era of flexibility, efficiency and intelligence in industrial automation.